so I cannot do the review of the Vivex, but however, my friend Mr. Glasser asked if he could do a review on the se season 2 of the 15th episode of Many and Sandy. I let him, and he watched the episode, and there's a lot to say about it. I'm still going to talk about it on the video. Yeah. By the way, when uh, BFDIA 14 comes out, I'm going to make my review too. Later. by Mr. Glasses. You probably, you probably don't care what it is. I, I didn't expect you to care. If you didn't ask me if I would watch this episode again, I'd be like, no, I want to watch this episode again. This episode is the worst episode that an anime team could ever make in my opinion. A lot of people saw it before me, but really I just refreshed the page over and over and I refreshed the IGP it. went to sleep. And everybody else saw it. Everybody had good messages about the anime. I didn't really make a message that I was just watching after. After the episode, I hated it. I hated this episode so much. So let me give you a direction of this. This is Nami New Family Season 2. This is a summary that I wrote this. And you take the 15th episode. Yeah, it doesn't work. Because the episode sucks. You can't make a Season 2. A good sequel to the first in Anime Sandy season replace episode 14 with episode 15 garbage, it won't work. However, with other episodes, episode 7, everything AOJ, or the 6th episode, the haunted one, it fits. The 15th does not fit. And you might say, oh, it's because there's not a lot of people who saw the episode and need their opinion hurt. I don't care. I don't really care if you have seen the episode or not. If you like the episode, that's totally okay. If you hated the episode, that's also okay. I'm just saying that this episode does not work with that whole season. It ruins the whole experience for me. But I'm a little good to the things that I personally enjoy. The part that was found that they found in the episode, and I feel like it was a really good comeback for Taco. I was actually really surprised. When Knife wanted to not get distracted by the game at all. And I feel like that's a really good character arc for him. He doesn't want to get distracted. He wants to win season 2. And I think he'll have a good chance to win season 2. Because, um... I think he's a good throw him in season 2. I'm not going to show any events because I'm not I'm that lazy. But, go in the description below and there will be a link to the official episode. First off, Suki. I hated Suki in this episode. This episode sucked for Suki. They were just an annoying, a nuisance, always panicking about some stupid road tie, always getting nervous. That's the character arc, yeah. But in the earlier Anatomy Sandy Season 2 episode, there's this a kind, warm hearted person now with all this arc and everything, it's just a confusing mess. When they voted out Bloom and Nickel, when they tried to roll out Microchrome. Or even, hey, when they go to Paintbrush, Fan, I think. Lightbulb and Paintbrush. Yeah, Lightbulb was in there, but let's just see that later. Um, I feel like that was just where I, I hated it. I hated Suitcase in this episode. I, didn't, I did not like it. And it was Lightbulb. It was just an annoying, dumb idiot for the whole episode, not knowing what's going on. Baseball is actually a pretty interesting character in this episode. But, however, he doesn't want to get in the screen time, so I don't, I don't really know what to say. I mean, this is also me for when hosting his own competition or challenge without the host, I mean, co host. Uh, it's pretty original, but so I would probably steal that idea if you don't know. If you want to watch an episode with bad plot, good song, bad characters in one episode, Making sure that the episode fits like every other the episode fits 15. doesn't, go ahead and watch and not even send me the invitational episodes. That won't work. But this episode will not work as well. But I'm just saying, BFDIA 14 is way, way better than this.